Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right. Okay, I have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down.
Boss, you okay? Could it be that sniper? Quiet. Quiet. Our silent assassin. A sniper known as Quiet is lurking in the Afghan wilderness. This Quiet has performed a string of hits on Soviet officers. The attacks always occur in the same area. But sweeps of the area turn up no traces whatsoever. They've even posted guards, but they never spot a thing. And then before you know it, another body's lying on the ground. You ever heard of someone who operates like that? No matter how still and silent a person tries to be, they always create some kind of ripple. Be it breathing, a heartbeat, eating, excreting, body temperature, sweat. If this sniper can really vanish completely, that's just not human. I guess quiet is the right name. But what is quiet's objective? The local guerrillas wouldn't use this kind of tactic. I just can't see them hiring some superhuman mercenary. And the Soviet officers who've been killed, well, they were all opposed to or skeptical of the secret weapons development being conducted in the area. Sure, they were a problem for those supporting it, but the Soviets have nothing to gain by killing them. So we have an assassin with superhuman combat skills who isn't working for the guerrillas or the Soviets. Miller has a theory that this sniper is a hitman for Cypher. He thinks it's time we silence quiet for good. But I'm against the lethal treatment. I say we bring the sniper back alive and break that silence. Because even if this quiet doesn't say a word, there's still plenty we can learn. Just remember this, boss. If our hunch is right, you'll be on this sniper's hit list, too. If things seem a little too... quiet when you're in the field, watch out. Quiet's out there somewhere. And if possible, this is one sniper I want back here breathing. Where's the sniping point? Boss, focus on your objective. You need to make contact with Emmerich. Get out of that sniper's kill zone and head to Sirak power plant. Mm, that's one big gate. You'd have a view of the entire area from up there. But you'd be pretty exposed to... disappeared. Zero visibility. If you can't mark him, you don't stand a chance. Stay sharp. Cypher. Quiet is a valuable source of information, boss. There's no need to kill her. Think carefully. This is your decision. The female sniper. Quiet. Cypher's assassin.
Mishra. She's one of the skulls. Hurry up and kill her. No. Killing her would be a waste. Bring her back here. Boss. Boss. Support helicopter. Boss, you're not thinking of bringing her back here, are you? She works for Cypher. We don't even know the extent of her abilities. She is not setting foot on this base. Good word, boss. Can't believe you took her down alive. Now bring her back here. Let's find out what she really is. This is too dangerous. Kill her. Don't bring her to our home. This is the boss's decision. I'll send the extraction chopper. Boss. You know I've always got your back, but if you bring her here, I'll just have her killed. This is b -Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. on our six. Steady at point four miles. It's tailing us. Don't lead it back to Mother Base. Roger. We'll shake it off.
setting foot on this base. Boss, she's with Cypher. to regret this. That woman... I know. She knows our location. Either way, one of these days we're gonna have to kill her. But now is not the time. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. she demonstrated her marksmanship against that enemy fighter plane. It showed she was much more than your everyday crack shot. Hitting a moving target from 600 meters is a challenge, but it's possible with the right training and equipment. But shooting down that missile, that's a world apart from taking out a soldier on patrol. The chopper and the missile were in motion, meaning different vectors at high velocity in three-dimensional space and she shot an unguided bullet that had to fight air resistance and gravity. All that while the chopper was taking evasive maneuvers. Some of the best target leading I've ever known. She has a superhuman sense of spatial awareness. You put her in a fighter jet, and she'd be an ace right off the bat. Hell, your judgment was top class, too. Realizing she could take out that pilot, that's quick thinking. You and Quiet could make a hell of a team. You'd be damn near unstoppable. Quiet is still in her cell. Only a few staff are authorized to go near her. She hasn't tried anything funny, but that's what bothers me most. In particular? What does she have to gain by coming to Mother Base? I first thought she was under orders from Cypher to take you out. She didn't manage it in Afghanistan, so round two happens here. So I lighten the guard. And that lock on her door is a joke. You gave her an opening. And? Well, 
She hasn't killed you yet. And I hate to say it, but she's had plenty of chances. You made me the bait. Poisonous bait. What better? Anyway, she didn't bite. Quiet is keeping her silence. So I'm left with no idea again what she's doing here. We tried communicating with her through writing, but that didn't work either. Whether she's illiterate, dyslexic, or just plain stubborn, she won't cooperate. I just don't get it. If she tried to contact the outside, it'd be picked up by our counterintelligence net. But it's clean. There's no sign she's had contact with the staff, the base facilities, nothing. She's almost got the men wanting her to try something, just to find out what she's up to. And she's in there putting on the failed soldier look, all downcast eyes and defeated sighs. But she doesn't kill herself. She can't be trying to leave Cypher and surrender to us. <laughs> so what's the verdict? This may sound optimistic, but here's how I see it. Quiet came here to fulfill some objective. To kill you, maybe to destroy Diamond Dogs. Whatever it was, before she could do it, something changed her mind. Yes. When I look at her, I sense hesitation. You think she'd betray Cypher? Can't say for sure. I prefer the ones that talk. Anyway, we'll keep her under watch. And we're also looking into those special abilities of hers. You'll be the first to know if something comes up. Why not look in on her yourself once in a while? Right. Again. You see that in the movies? That's an automatic. Don't bother trying to dampen the recoil. You do that with a revolver. We diamond dogs. And now a force to be reckoned with. We've got the world's attention. We're not some tribal militia. So don't act like one. You will learn how a real soldier fights. You will forget everything Hollywood taught you. And if I catch you doing something else, you'll know it. Engravings. Give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. That was some fancy shooting. Pretty good. Combat support, boss. She, uh, refuses to wear clothes. The last staff member who tried to dress her, breathing through tubes. Other than that, she's completely cooperative. She understands English, but she never speaks, sweats, or breathes. What? Well, not with lungs, at least. She breathes through her skin. 
clothing would suffocate her. Showers are okay, but she can't be submerged. What's wrong with her? She's bleeding through her skin. She's okay? She's okay. She just can't move when she's taking in water. Look. See that? She hasn't eaten a thing since she got here. She doesn't eat either? Never. It's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? That's the verdict from the medical staff? No. The jury's still out. It's the only explanation for what we've seen. The Gru had a man with that ability in its Cobra unit. Now, we don't think she's contagious, but some of the staff can't stomach her. It's starting to affect morale. Can't you send her on a mission? By herself? No. But as you know, she does have skill. Why not take her out on one of your missions? She seems to like you. Of course, only if you think she'll be useful. Next time you go out, you keep her in mind. Side op completed. still hasn't made any moves. It's got me thinking. What? If you took her on a mission, she might break her silence. You want to let her out? Sure. Make her no different to the others. Everyone you pick up works for themselves, right? But her... I say work with her. See what happens. I wouldn't ask this of anyone but you. On missions, I'll make sure we have someone observing from a distance, and she won't be allowed access to all of the base. As for Miller... Well, sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. The best part is, hiding is her specialty. If no one sees her leave the base, the staff will be none the wiser. And if she gets away? If that happens, you'll have to take care of her. But I have faith in you, boss. I think Quiet sees something in you. It's a big risk. But it's for the good of all of us. And besides, you can't deny her talent. Her unique skills and abilities would give you a hell of an edge out there. I'll think it over. How long are we going to keep that woman here? You mean quiet? My personal feelings aside, she's putting everybody on edge. You should hear the stories. I got sick from just standing guard at her cell. I won't stand on the same platform as that witch. She hit me for no reason. What is this, a private army or a kindergarten? The thing is, they're all serious. They're faced with something they don't understand, and a kind of mass hysteria has broken out. I've gotten wind of countless plots to take her out. There are no grounds for this suspicion whatsoever. Put yourself in her shoes, assuming they see her as a prisoner here. No, even more so, if they do, she deserves to be treated humanely. I always thought our men were a bit more noble-minded, but... Look, I understand this is a stressful line of work, but to make her the scapegoat... You've got it wrong. Quiet? She's with Cypher. We have men that lost their buddies to her organization. You could say that about more than just her. Plenty of the men used to fight for another side. But they've all put that aside to work for the boss. Cypher is different. And if you ask me, the boss is the biggest problem. Why is he protecting her? Some of the guys are starting to suspect him of... I don't agree with keeping her here either. So what's your move? Throw her out? Kill her? She's our ticket to Cypher. And her physical abilities are outstanding. We could 
use someone like her. Don't make me sick. Her marksmanship, speed, stealth capabilities for a start. Then, there are the other things we've learned. Quiet appears to be able to use both eyes as master eyes simultaneously. That lets her track targets of different focal lengths at once. While looking through the scope with one eye, she can look for new targets with the other. That's why she doesn't need a spotter. She can operate alone, no matter the circumstances. See? I told you she's a freak. No one would be able to control her. No, there's one person who could. Hey, you trying to get the boss killed? Well, why don't we talk to him? Hmm? See if he's willing to take her along. I don't like this. It's his decision to make. The two of them might even make a good team. <sighs> Weather surveillance indicates turbulence out there. Try not to get knocked out of the sky. Got it. Where does she think she's going? You want to head out with the boss? That'll be the day. I don't see a problem with it, so long as she's with you. She's a crack shot, damn fine scout. Well suited for a clandestine op. Which is more than I can say for the others. There's nothing damn fine about this... thing. Here. Hey. Blades. Wait a minute, that thing costs a lot of money. See each individual blade and a depth perception. One in. This is ridiculous. She doesn't talk. How could you possibly stay in communication? Right. I like working solo anyway.
Marcel, of course. Why did you send her out with the boss on that mission? She proved herself well enough, didn't she? The boss sure knows talent when he sees it. That woman will never be one of us. She's targeting him. Don't forget, we do owe her one. What's that supposed to mean? Remember what happened when she first got here? She shot down the aircraft Cypher sent after us. Not only that, she hit the cockpit. Who else could have done that? We're talking about a fighter jet traveling at Mach speed. What's your point? If she hadn't been there, the boss's chopper would be at the bottom of the ocean right now. Or it would have been followed right back to Mother Base. So let's say she does have some elaborate scheme in the works. If you want to catch her in the act, all we can do is sit back and wait. On the other hand, if she swears allegiance to the boss like our other Fulton recruits, he couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh, she's got you fooled. I have eyes on her. If she tries anything, she'll regret it. We lose nothing either way. Hmm? The boss is back. Let's go refuel and load up on artillery. We're good to go, Chief. <laughs> What's the matter? still. Payback for how they treated her? Doesn't explain the others. She had every chance to kill them. Tighten security on her cell. This happens a second time. There won't be a third.
Stay back. It's too dangerous. Hey. Back up, kid. I said no. You have to stay back. Some things can't be helped. Back to your quarters. What's going on? Shabani. Mayaka Nine Kingo Ya Shabani. It's down there. The tank at the bottom is filled with chlorine disinfectant. One whiff and you'll suffocate. Don't even. How could you let it fall down there anyway? No way to recover the body. What kind of stunt was that? Trying to panic us?
Anything? Still living up to her name. How about you drop the act? Who infected you with a parasite? We can't let her talk. Put it back. All I want's a name. That won't trigger anything. Tell me. Tell me! Your lungs have been barbecued. This traces of rubbing alcohol in your alveoli. This was found adhered to your lungs, intact. A petal, white star of Bethlehem. The hospital. Skullface sent you to Cyprus to kill Snake. You were burned inside and out. That should have been the end of it. But, all things considered, you look pretty damn healthy to me. We have Skullface to thank for that, right? I was the only one capable of applying them to parasite therapy. Until he stole them from me. Why are you here? Did Skullface send you? Or did you have your own score to settle with the boss? Refreshing? Salt water. No! She'll die! His life isn't yours to take. Enough! That's enough. If she wanted to kill the boss, he'd already be dead. Same goes for us. She's had plenty of chances. She can't talk. She's not here to kill anyone. I'm wasting your time. 
It doesn't matter why she's here. She works for you now. She's in love with the legend. What makes you so sure? I was the same way once. What if she's a spy? What if I'm a spy? You? Go on all day. Boss. Let her go. She won't speak, so she can't spread the infection. <laughs> The death is odd. Belagana Gesnita Tato Bayas Teta Asay Tota Toto Nista. Nice work today, boss. Welcome back, boss. Another successful mission. Safe, boss. Snake, you stink.
your salutations. Happy birthday, may your sky stay blue. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, boss. <laughs> Happy birthday, Snake. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Snake. <laughs> Happy birthday, Snake. <laughs> Ops list updated. Boss, maybe you realize by now, but updated. there's no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stun and stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Boss, I told you this would happen. I wish I could say good riddance, but Quiet knows too much about us. We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. Boss, we've gone over the prisoner transport log you found. Quiet was grabbed by the Soviets and moved to Lamar Hate Palace. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. They lost a lot of men to her. Can't blame them for wanting payback. But why did she just let herself get captured? I think it's time you knew. Quiet was carrying local court parasites. The English strain. Precise. The third English pair, Skullface, was using her as a vector, an ace in the hole if his assassination plan failed. I knew it, but White chose not to speak. She knew the situation in Navajo, the only language to which the parasites do not react. If you found out, she could not remain among you. And yet, she refused the Wolbachia treatment. Why? Because part of her still wanted revenge against you. Revenge against the boss? In order to stay here, she took a vow of eternal silence. But then, 
that sudden mutation showed this was not enough. As long as the parasites were inside her, she could not predict what might happen. And that's why she took off, sacrificing herself to make sure the English strain died with her? Maybe. Or maybe she only wants to infect the world. Whatever her plan, we can't let her go free. The vocal cord parasites are the last of Skullface's legacy. It's up to us to erase it. Boss, the targets are quiet and the English strain she's carrying. Your objective is to extract her. But if worst comes to worst, she may have to be eliminated. Both her and the parasites. We don't know for sure what Quiet's up to, but we need to secure her ASAP. She's being held at Lamar Hate Palace. Make your way there. The map has been updated. Oh, my God. 
Quiet. Updated.
The boss is with me. Ahab? Wait, who is this? Identify yourself! There's no time! Hurry! Where are you? What is your location? No, you're moving away from us. Circle back to your 8 o'clock. Copy that. Guide me to your location. Proceed to your 10 o'clock. Understood. Come back towards your 1 o'clock. Copy. 1 o'clock. Shift slightly to your left. Now proceed straight. 1.5 miles. Slide right. A little more. Yes, there you go. One more mile. Strong winds approaching. Quick, adjust to your right. Left. A little left. Yes. 
Now hold your position and proceed straight. Half a mile to go. Peacock, I can see you. I have a visual. There you are, Ahab. Visual confirmed. Peacock, hurry. This way. You're... I didn't know you could be so talkative, quiet. The boss is here. Hurry, Pequot. Please. Boss. Boss. I gave you an anti-venom. Where's Quiet? I... We've got to go. <clears throat> Let's go, boys. I did not choose to be quiet. I wanted to express my feelings to you. If only we shared a common tongue.
Vengeance was what drove me to them. The only language left to me, revenge. But the words we shared, no, that was no language at all. That is why I chose the language of gratitude instead and go back to silence. I am quiet. I am the absence of words. Results of quiet scans? Yes, as I suspected. Her entire body underwent parasite therapy. The parasites compensated for her burnt epidermis and provide her blood with oxygen through cutaneous respiration instead of pulmonary respiration. In addition, they replaced the digestive organs she lost. And she receives carbohydrates through photosynthesis. Was Skullface responsible? There is no other possibility. Skullface ordered Quiet to assassinate Snake. Only she got set on fire instead when he woke up in that hospital. But then Skullface revived Quiet through his parasite therapy. At the same time infecting her with the English strain. That way, even if the assassination failed again, she could still kill all of us just by coming here. That was the third English mating pair. Correction. The first and only English pair to be carried by a person. So either because she wanted to get even with Snake, or because she was working for Skullface, Quiet approached Snake again. Though in the end, for whatever reason, she did not complete her objective. Some change of heart, perhaps. We won't hear it from 